Hello, welcome to my story. I am so glad you joined me today. You know, I say it all the time. I have a story, you have a story, we all have a story. And you know what? If you haven't written yours down yet, why don't you start today? Get busy, get out that notebook, get out that journal and start writing down your story because ultimately your story becomes your testimony. So I'm glad you're here. Whatever platform you watch or listen on, thank you. We're glad to welcome you. If it's your first time, don't make it your last time because I promise you, you will heal her story that will minister to you and where you're at. Well, I'm so excited today to welcome my very special guest, Olanda Nicholas. Olanda, welcome to my story. Well, thank you, Pastor Angela. I'm so glad that you invited me. You've been here before. Yes, I and, always enjoy it. Yeah, we've been here. You've been here with Pastor Joe. Yes. We said we had Pastor Joe and O, oh, and it was a it was a good day. We talked about some really good things, but we're going to talk about some good things today too. And I'm so glad that you stopped by to sit in my booze yes. seat today. That's he is not here. You know, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself? I know that people need to know that you're a very successful businesswoman. Mm -hmm. God has blessed you. Tell us a little bit about that. You know, God God has blessed me in many ways in regards to even my my background of, of where I came from, of what happened in my past. But you know what? I don't stay in my past. Amen. I, I'm an overcome. Amen. And I have uh, overcame what was in my past to be where I'm at today, to be able to run a successful business. Yes. To, what is your business? It is real estate. All right. Remax. Okay. Yes, it is Remax uh, real estate. And, you know, I have a passion for what I do and yes. I want to be able to uh, bless people and serve them in that way. Amen. And you do a good job. Oh, well, thank you. She sold me my house. I love their house. I love my house too, but thank you for that. Yeah. But you know, we have a history. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. We, we, we do a lot of traveling together yeah. and and we have seen some things. We've seen some things. We've witnessed some things. We have enjoyed some oh, things. Yeah, mostly. We've had some good vacations together. Yes, we have. Where a couple of them, you said I was cranky, but hey, we got through it. It all worked out. We've had some good times together. Yes. But I was thinking about the podcast today, and I was thinking about what can O and I talk about? What story can we tell? Mm -hmm. So my mind went back to this time last year. Uh -huh. You and I were making a trip to Florida. Oh, wow. <laughs> do, you remember, do you remember? Yeah, you remember. Oh, yeah. And, uh, I will never forget that. We were going into Jacksonville to minister, but we thought, let's go in a day early. Mm -hmm. And let's go to Disney World. Mm -hmm. I mean, doesn't everybody, if you think about going to Florida, you want to go to the beach, you want to go to Disney World. Well, Oh, and I are just big kids at heart. We are. We are. We have so yeah. much fun, don't we? We do. We had our Mickey Mouse ears on and everything. We did. We, we did the whole thing. <laughs> but we decided we were going to go to Disney World. So we rented our car. We took off to Disney World mm, yes. and uh, got our hotel. Yep. And I had dropped my phone. Do you remember this? Oh, my goodness. I remember dropping the phone. She dropped her phone. Yes, I in the remember. toilet. In I wouldn't go say it. I was not. <laughs> I was not all the sorry. Just got to tell the truth. I dropped my phone in the toilet. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, we turned it off when we got on the plane. Yeah. So when we got off the plane and got in the got in the car, my phone wasn't charging. <laughs> and I'm like, oh my god, oh my phone is dead, and my husband's going to be trying to call me. And Brianna was pregnant and hadn't had the baby yet. And I'm like, oh, my God. Oh, I got to do something. And I start trying to find an AT&T. And mm -hmm. they were all closed. And we found this one that said closed in 15 minutes. Right. Right. Yes. So we took off. I was zooming through Orlando traffic. Yes, she was. And she scared me. And then when she finally pulled up to that AT&T, it was like... <laughs> And you're like, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. We got her safely. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> so I go running in with my phone and I'm like, oh my God, I dropped my phone in the toilet. And it's not charging. I really need my phone. And can you help me? Can I get another phone? And I hand the guy my phone and he goes, ma'am, this phone is the iPhone that can be dropped in water. And actually right. you can swim in water with it. Your phone is fine. And I'm like, Really? And he said, yeah. I said, then why is it charging? 
So long story short, it was just the cord. Yeah, we had the wrong. Charger. We had the wrong charger for it, so we had to get a new cord. <laughs> so that was one adventure there. Yes, it but was. and it was a good adventure, and I laughed at myself because after he told me my phone was, you know, waterproof phone, I was like, oh man, I knew that. And she was having a moment because she wanted to hear from her daughter that if she was having that baby, and I told her, we were sitting in the car, I said, I was just looking at you, I didn't know what I was supposed to do, because she was she was panicking. I didn't know I was... You I didn't know! Christians full of faith panic? <laughs> <laughs> but God took care of that. He, he did, he took care of us. So we recovered, we went eight, we went to the to oh, receive you waves, oh, I those crab legs. Yes, I think you got those craw nets. Yeah, yeah it's craw. Oh, we, we had crawfish, like whatever that. they were. <laughs> whatever they were. It was a good time, and we went back and we stayed in Disney Hotel. So we had Mickey Mouse and Donald Duck and everybody all over the place. Room. It was yes. wonderful. And we got up the next morning, bright and early, to head out to Disney World. Yes, we did. Yes, and, did. yeah. Don't get past. I, I will. It's my story. Uh, go ahead. So we <laughs> we get there, and we rode the. No, we were as a boat. Gonna get on the boat. Uh, I was getting ready to get on the boat. To go across to the Magic Kingdom. Mm-hmm. So we're standing in line. People are lined up. I mean, you're bumper to bumper people. And we're lined up. And there was this group in front of us. And um, this gentleman comes over the speaker. And he says these words. Oh, now you know I'm not making it up. You are, you, you are, you are right. Go ahead. And he says, if you're standing in line, keep moving. He said, if people are standing and not moving, go around them. So there's this big group of people, right? It was, it was lots of people. That was in front of us, and they weren't moving. They right. were laughing. They were talking. They were standing still. Mm-hmm. So I seen a little opening, and I just went around them. Oh, okay. And in that, that's not what happened. Yeah, you you did. She hopscotched. That's what she did. She <laughs> went from I'm say she was she was probably maybe a hundred feet in front of me. <laughs> After she she went through the maze of people, she was up in the front. But go ahead, Patrick. Well, anyway, <laughs> I did what I was told. I I, she did. I knew how to obey she orders, did. and I did exactly what I was told. But when I got in front of these people, let's say they didn't speak our language. And I started hearing all kinds of, blah, 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 blah. I didn't even know. I was just minding my own business. I was getting on the boat. I'm like, where are you at? Oh, come on, get up here. And oh, finally gets up there and, and you're like, um, so the, the people came out of the woodwork. It was a great big family there and they were very irritated. And me and Pastor Angela, well, Pastor Angela, and I mean, Pastor Angela, because I'm still standing back where I was. And they came out of everywhere and said, we've been here for an hour waiting. What makes you think you should get up in the front? And then they touched her. Oh, yeah. And they, I was they, like, they, oh, they, they touched her. Well, no, they see, did. We don't want to get ugly at Disney World. So please get your hands off of her. Pastor Angela, come back here with me, please. That's what I said. <laughs> Pastor Angela, please come back with me. So she scooted on back her 100 feet. <laughs> And then, then we had to get on the boat with them, and they were staring me down and giving me the well, I was, I'm going high and all that kind of stuff. Cause they, were, they were coming after me. I was like, from everywhere. And you know what? Oh, has never let me forget this. She saved my life. I will never forget that. She has never let me forget. But what I'm thinking about that is I was thinking about this. Uh-oh. I was thinking about the podcast this morning, mm-hmm. and I was thinking about you were going to be here and stories we could tell on each other and right. with each other. Right. Because it is my story. Yes. And you know... You want people to grow and to get better because of your story. Right. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah. if your story is just a story to make you more popular or more famous, then you really don't mm-hmm. care about people. Mm-hmm. You know, if I'm going to tell something on myself, oh, I worry you to tell it because I want to help you. Mm-hmm. That's right. And so yeah. as I was thinking about that story today and how that you saved my life and and uh, you really did, because I think they might have whooped me. <laughs> They whip. They wasn't gonna whoop you while I was around, but go ahead. And they probably could have whipped me because if God had ever knows, I don't know how to fight. <laughs> Only with my mouth. <laughs> so praise God for O oh, that day. Amen. But it, it just made me remember. I, I was reading in um, Acts, mm-hmm. and uh, Paul and his boy friends and people that he loved and yeah. ministered together. Yeah, they were in prison and you know the story they were getting ready to be released and they just said 
Oh, I'll just read it. So Paul told the officers, look, I said, now let these two men go. The, and the jailer informed Paul and Silas, the magistrates have sent orders to release you. So you're free to go. But then Paul turns around and he says, look, they beat us in public. Mm -hmm. Uh, They, uh, without, they didn't give us a fair trial. Right. And we're Roman citizens. And he said, do you think we're just going to quietly walk away after they threw us in prison, violated all of our rights? Mm -hmm. Paul said, absolutely not. He said, you go back and tell the magistrates that they need to come down here themselves and escort us out. They, they put us in here publicly. Right. Now they're just not going to let us tip out in the dark of night. Right. You tell them to come down here mm-hmm. and walk us out of here. Mm-hmm. That's good. And, That's good. you know, I was thinking about how that that day you walked me out of a bad situation. Oh, my God. A situation that I really was just too ignorant to even. I didn't know I was in a bad situation. I just did what I was told. I, what they said. Oh, so she did. Yeah. And. You walked me out of that situation and you did it publicly because you could have stayed behind and just thought, well, you got yourself into that girl. Uh-oh. I, I fixed uh-huh. to get beat with you. I'm not going to hear from your husband. But you, <laughs> <laughs> and you, you stepped up and you said, come on back. And you, you escorted me out of something that was escalating yeah. quickly. Yes, yes, ma'am. And I think about. How many times we've all been in situations, even you yourself, mm-hmm. where the Lord has just so graciously and mercifully just mm-hmm. stepped up and escorted us out of a bad escalating situation yes. that we put ourselves in. Yeah. 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 And it makes me thankful today. I don't know where you're at. I don't know if you're where you're walking through or what you're going through, but you might find yourself in a situation where you've been humiliated, uh, abused, talked badly about, and you feel, you know, hurt and angered. And, you know, I don't know if anybody's ever had apologies like this. I have. Or somebody really did something to hurt you, but they come to you and they don't give you a, a heartfelt apology. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They'll say something like, well, if I did anything to hurt you, Please forgive me. In other words, they're not taking ownership, but they're trying to wiggle their way back into your good graces. Graces by saying, if I did anything. Well, if you don't know if you did anything, then why are you apologizing? You know? And I think about when when people do that and you can be left feeling like, what in the world, you know? You know what you did, and now here you're kind of putting it back on me. And, right. And I'm so grateful for the love of God that he will just so gently yeah. step into those kind of situations and escort us out of them. Yes. Take our thoughts. Right. Take our fears. Mm-hmm. Take the things that have plagued us the most and just escort us out mm-hmm. and get our focus on something else. Right. You know, for a minute, I'll be honest, when we got on the boat, my focus was on them people because mm-hmm. they were still talking and they were talking right. in the language and they were talking about me. They were mad. Yeah, they were, they were mad. And uh, when I realized, ooh, I'm in trouble, mm-hmm. but you know, okay, because God had us. Because God had us. God had us. He pulled us out he of that. He pulled us out of that. <laughs> and, you know, I had to, but I had to re get my <laughs> focus, Jerry. Yeah. Uh, I had to refocus myself. Right. I had to quit thinking about them. Mm-hmm. You know, because we were going there to have a good time to relax. That's right. Before we had a big ministry opportunity that we were going to be partaking of mm-hmm. the next two or three days. Mm-hmm. And we thought, we just want to go relax. We just want to rest. But God just escorted us out. Oh, then he did. He did. And and we were safe. We yeah. were protected. Yeah. You know, because, you know, people, you got to... You have to be mindful of some people. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So and then God protected us. He did protect, protect us. us. And I, I'm so grateful that he did. So, you know, wherever you're at today, yeah. whatever you're walking through today, I want you to know that God will escort you out. If you put your trust and your reliance on him and you just say, God, mm. th- 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 I might have got myself here. 
I may have been even obeying instructions, yes. but I found myself in a situation that's got me in trouble. Ooh. Lord, I'm asking you to just intervene on my behalf yes. and escort me out of it. You know, when somebody escorts you, they take a hold of you and they lead you mm-hmm. out of a situation or out of a place or out of a, uh, a, a venue or out of a building. They take you out and by them escorting you, they're taking responsibility for you. Yes. And that's an important yes. right there. Yeah. Know that if God steps in and he escorts you out, he has taken full responsibility for yes. you. Amen. Stating, yes. she belongs to me. He belongs to me. That's right. And I'm responsible for them. And I'm going to escort them out of this situation. I'm going to put them in a safe place where they can grow Amen. and they can enjoy their life. And they could enjoy their day at the Magic Kingdom. That's right. We did. And we did. And yes, they we will. We ate really good that day. <laughs> we went We went to uh, uh, the Beauty and the Beast yeah. restaurant. Mm-hmm. And we got to see the Beast. Yes, we did. Yep. We got those big drinks, remember? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. And that food. Oh, man, they brought those little desserts. Oh, I still remember that tart. Oh, it was so good. I Oh, I could just, I could taste it right now. Oh, it was so oh. good. But we had a wonderful time. And uh, that's just one of our stories. We got a whole lot. We got a whole lot more. But God will escort you out. He'll take full responsibility for you. Remember that. God's got you always, whether you're at the Magic Kingdom, quick trip, in a bad marriage, at your work, at work, (laughs) wherever it is. He said, if you call on me, I'll answer you and I'll show you things you don't know. My God, my God. He's faithful that way. Yes. Well, thank you for joining me and O today. Oh, will you come back? I sure will. I hope you will. Yeah. Time. Will you come back and be with me yes, again? Ma'am. Thank you for joining us. And listen, go write your story. See, just that little story right there. I hope it ministered to you. It was an experience we had, but it turned into a testimony of praise. Oh, so don't delay. Go do it right now. He's a God sees, hears, and cares. Write your story. Share it with somebody. Be blessed. Thank you for listening to the My Story Podcast. We appreciate your support and hope this week's episode was a blessing to you. For inspiring stories, be sure to follow, like us, and share this with a friend. Until next time, thank you and be blessed.